What's up guys? I am back to do another reaction video. Um, this one is with one of my favorite bands of all time, one of my favorite singers of all time, uh, Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins. Um, the song I'm going to be uh, reacting to is not that popular. Um, it's one of my favorite songs of theirs, but it's not that popular. It's off their Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness uh, CDs. But um, I think that this performance is really cool because it shows how can you be entertaining while still playing guitar. And I think that Billy Corgan is really, really good at this. So let's jump into it. The Rudy the Striker. <laughs> This is my favorite era of theirs, too, when he wore the silver pants and the Zero shirt. Very cool. Right off the bat, man, he he is run off of attitude. He's got so much attitude. Um, in my opinion, that's what makes him as a singer because technically he really is not that great of a singer. And I'll tell you why, because his tone is very high and thin. And typically that does not equate to having a good singing voice. Um, but he makes up for that tenfold with the attitude and what he brings he's a perfect example of taking what you have and pushing it to the max and he exceeds lots of singers just from taking that attitude and putting it full force i love it she gave it all away she saw baby brag and in the air it hung the tree brag it's kind of like hawk and the loogie <laughs> Okay, so he's another great example of somebody who's really in the feeling of what they're singing about. Um, he, he's got so much tension in him from the emotions going through him. Um, and that's another thing to point out, uh, kind of like my Eddie Vedder uh, reaction video. So much tension just, just working through him. So that's entertaining. He's playing guitar. He's focusing on playing guitar, but he's also singing as if he was the front man of a band, which he is, but... He's got that guitar that he's got to play. Now, here's the key. He does not have to think about what he's playing. What he's playing is in muscle memory. So he can focus on what he's singing and what he's saying. Super important. So cool. He he he's got so much anger. <laughs> he really really does. He's got so much anger and and he's he is pretty much therapy on stage. I love it. It's just real. It's just it's just real. And I mean just the fact that he's so real with what he's emoting at this moment, you just connect with it. Yeah. 
that snarl, man, that snarl is so cool. I always thought that was so cool. Um, ever since I, even I was a little kid, way before I even started singing, knew anything about singing, I heard him on the radio and I thought, I want to sing like that guy. That guy's so cool to me. Dynamics, bringing it down. They were so good at that. They'd get so intense and they'd bring it down. Let it build back up. See, he just he, he he just owns it. It's it's all attitude. Like Mary's got a problem. Mary's not a stupid girl. He's he's like not even singing, but it's so effective. It's almost even more effective than actually singing. I mean, this is this this is what I'm all about when it comes to singing. Just make me feel something, and he's doing it. And this is Okay, pause it right here. So <laughs> If you're a musician out there and you play guitar, you sing, you you get into those modes where you just gotta get it all out. I do it all the time. I'll play guitar and I'll just start playing super fast riffs just because there's just so much surging and they're so good at that, that just bringing it way down and popping it back to thousand percent. That's one of the coolest, the coolest things I've ever seen in any performance. I, I, I don't know why, but the way that he yells stop and uh, James Eha hits the, the guitar note at the same time, just super, super impactful. He just owns the stage. He just, he owns the performance. He owns the stage. He fronts that band. It's just so, so super cool. I'll stop it there. There's there's more to the video, but it, it goes on. It, it's still super cool. If you want to check it out, you can go check out the video, Smashing Pumpkins XYU. But that's a great example of somebody who 
does not have the greatest voice of all time. Somebody who kind of, in a way, has everything working against them when it comes to singing, but they take that attitude and they take that confidence and they take what they have and they push it to the max and it and it becomes more effective than some singers that are actually really good at singing. It's it's truly amazing on what can happen if you just have confidence with what you have, what you can do, and you push it 100% and, and it, it just becomes effective and feeling what you're singing about. That is key because if you're feeling it and you're feeling it intensely and you're on stage, then everybody else is most likely going to feel it too. And, and you're going to, you're going to accomplish the four C's that I talk about. Um, so, so you can learn a lot from, from, uh, singers and guitar players like Billy Corgan. I, I, at least half of what I know of, with rock singing and stage performance, I learned from Billy Corgan. It, it, it's, it's truly amazing what I've taken from him. So anyways, that's it for this reaction video. Um, if you would like to add on to what I said or have a conversation or comment on anything, put it down in the comments below and we can start a conversation. Um, and as always, like, subscribe, share, hit the bell for notifications, and um, I will check in with you guys later. See ya.